guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Amber and I'm the owner and creator behind Being on Bliss. And let me just tell you, it has been forever since I've actually recorded anything for you guys. So kids are back in school, summer's over, time to get back to work. So today we're just going to be doing a work with me as usual because I have orders to get out and it's just time to get back to work. So now that the kids are back in school and I have some more time to actually be alone, <laughs> but love the kids, just cannot work when they're home for summer break. You know, if you know, you know. So anyways, let's get started. Today I'm going to be working on some embroidery, some printing, DTF printing. Um, I need to cut out orders. I need to do blankets. Lots of things to cover today. So you're going to see bits and pieces of my daily work routine. So again, thank you all so much for tuning in and I can't wait to create more things for you guys. I hope you have a wonderful, productive day and let's get started.
pressing these shirts. This is a, I guess, semi-custom order. So I have this lady who's local to me and her heat press isn't doing the best of jobs pressing her shirts. So anyway, she asked me if I could press them for her. I do her DTF transfers. She's locally in a shop, so she has a lot of t-shirt transfers and just t-shirts in general. So I'm gonna help her out by pressing the DTFs on her shirts for her with my um, heat press. I love this heat press. This is the Fusion IQ. If you don't have, um, you certainly do not need this heat press, but you do, it's not nest. I mean, you don't have to have a heat press to press DTX, but it's definitely a plus. Um, you can use the Cricut press. You just have to put a lot of pressure and make sure you're using like a really flat surface or even put like a wood board underneath of what you're pressing so it's nice and flat and hard. That way you're getting even pressure and DTF is crucial with pressure, so if you don't do enough pressure, your images will not last. They might crack after washing, um, and if you are seeing like cracking or uh, lifting of any sort, it's mainly due to pressure, so make sure you're definitely pressing with a lot of pressure on these shirts or anything that you're pressing in general. So anyway, I'm gonna be working on this order really quick um, just so I can get these knocked out. Super easy, just pressing, pressing, pressing. So anyway, let's get to it. Okay, so we're actually gonna to have to wait on pressing these because the DTFs that I already have printed are for the darker shirts. Um, I need to print out a different design for these t-shirts. So we're gonna print those, but while we're printing those, I'm gonna work on something else and then we'll work on these later. Hopefully this gets in the video today. If not, then I might have to do another day. But anyway, let's get started on something else. <laughs> this onesie that is um, the groovy one birthday shirt so I'm gonna set this up in this machine and then I have actually three of them to do today but I'm just gonna set this one up so you guys can see how I do it um, I have it just set in the computer um, because I do a lot of them but this is a 12 to 18 month just regular sleep onesie I get all my onesies from AJ Blanks I just really like the how thick they are for embroidery and then also how soft they are as well so I just always use them um, but anyway let's get started I'm gonna plug this into here and then I'm gonna make the bell bottoms to go with the outfit or just cut them out and then we're gonna sew in a little bit after I get everything all cut out so let's get started so first I'm gonna go find my design. It is the, let's just make sure, because I have two different designs. I have a groovy one and a two groovy. So this one is groovy one. So let's find that in here. Um, let's go to my designs. Let's find, there's two groovy. Um, I actually think the groovy one is on my other one, of course. Let's see, maybe I can use that one. Let's see what this one is. Pretty sure this is the right one. And when I say the right one, it's the right design, but I actually went in and edited it a while ago so that the flower petals don't take so long. So 
in my brilliant software, I just kind of like messed around with it and fixed the embroidery. So hopefully this is the one I need. If not, we'll just deal with it at that point. So all, I know that all of the numbers, except for the second to last one, are four. So I'm gonna change this one to number two. And then we're going to go back up to the top. And after each one, I put a stop in because this, Design is a painful design, but it is a very popular and people love it. So I'm going to continue to do it, of course. The only one that doesn't need to stop is the second to last one. And I'm sure there are other ways to do this, but this is just how I do it, and it's worked for me, so I stick with what I know. I'm a creature of habit, <laughs> you guys should all know that. So that's just how I do things. So we are going to embroider this now. Wait for better days to come and carry us like wind in our sails. Sure, it's right in front of us if we just hold on tight. This vision that I saw is getting closer every dawn. Ooh, 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 ooh. We are dreamers of the shore. Okay, I don't know if you guys can hear me over this loud machine, but I just wanted to give you guys an update on this little design so on the machine I love how it shows you I mean not the exact color but it's pretty darn close that's the color I'm using right there and you can like program your colors into the computer so I know exactly what's stitching out and what needs to be stitched out further so it's working on the end right now on the satin stitch and then it's gonna move over to the E and then we'll do the flower last so it's really nice that I can like kind of see the progress of it as it's going and it's going to stop now. So sorry for yelling because I can't tell how loud I'm talking on here. But anyway, this is what it looks like. Let me pull it out for you so you can see it. Really cute. So now it's going to work on the E. I'm going to go ahead and start and then it's going to do the placement stitch. this video today I'm calling it quits for the evening it's been a long day um, I know it probably looks like I didn't really get much done I did I was productive um, but I didn't get as much as I wanted to finish done today because you know every day is different things happen I have four kids 
you have kids, you know what I mean. Something always comes up. But anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video today. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you are not subscribed, please consider subscribing. And yeah, I hope that you guys come back for my next video. Have a good night, you guys. Bye.